I remember watching Chris on uh, video on film uh, early September 1995. And it was a really important year for us to recruit a running back. We needed a really outstanding running back to give us more depth, to give us more uh, competition, and ultimately to get ready to replace the great Eon Hu. And uh, when we watched him on film, we thought he'd be a terrific player. I'm not sure any of us could have predicted that he'd go on to be uh, the most valuable player on, on a Harvard football team and uh, the leading rusher in Harvard football history. Well, I think any time you're a freshman, it's hard to make an impact, and uh, I think Chris grew into his role, but I think it's really impressive and pretty amazing when you think that as a sophomore on an Ivy Championship team, an Ivy Championship team that I think will go down as one of the great ones in Harvard football history, a team that included uh, future captains, future NFL players, and future Harvard football Hall of Famers, Harvard Athletics Hall of Famers, um, this kid was voted the MVP of our team, the Crocker Award, as a sophomore. And I think that tells you all about how much our team respected Chris and what a huge impact he had on our football team and our football program. The 1997 game versus Holy Cross. Uh, big game, a good football team. And you, you hear the phrase all the time, an athlete being in the zone. And, and this was certainly uh, an opportunity for Chris to be described that way. Uh, it just looked like he was playing at a different speed. You know, defense was playing in slow motion, our opponent, and he was just playing at another speed, and uh, he just dominated. And I think he rushed for over 260 yards, uh, had just one of those incredible games where he was the best player on the field. There's no question there'd be a place on our team for Chris Menick, and even today, um, at least myself, when I look at a running back, you look for a complete player, and he's the first guy you think of. Because Chris was a great runner, like all great running backs, but he was a, a tremendous blocker. He was an asset in the pass game. He was tough, he was physical, and he was extremely dependable. And he also was an outstanding special teams player, and those guys are just very hard to find. When you're at a running back position, you're certainly gonna be, there's gonna be a lot of focus on you. There's gonna be a spotlight, and uh, Chris just performed week in, week out at a very high level, and I think uh, his teammates will never forget him for that. Our players, team, and coaches really love Chris because he was such a positive force on and off the field. Uh, on the field, uh, so tough, so physical, so dependable. Um, you know, what they call a money running back. You know, when you really needed him most, he would deliver. Uh, and such a positive kid intangibly. And I think he's gonna be remembered as one of those guys that uh, was incredibly dependable, incredibly tough, and inspirational. And I think that's why everybody in our program, I think uh, all our alumni, I think that's why they have so much respect for Chris Menick.